94.9. Is it OK to wear shorts? Let's speak to a good friend of this programme, uh, Grant, who is a former royal butler. Grant, good morning. Good morning, John. Uh, nice to talk to you. Um, you. Would you ever wear shorts at Buckingham Palace? Good God. <laughs> I, think I'd, I think I'd be shown the door. <laughs> uh, no, it's... <laughs> It's a, again, it's a, another interesting discussion. People ask me about dress codes for different for different things, and I always say, as soon as people say about going to a garden party and, or oh, can you wear shorts, I kind of look at them and think, is this are they being serious? Because there's certain places you you just you just wouldn't wear shorts or anything similar. But a, a, a woman could get away with wearing a, not a, not a mini skirt, obviously, but a shorter linen skirt or indeed a you know a, a linen dress, whereas a man has to wear full. Trousers. Yes, I mean, with, with a lady, as long as it's, a, it's an appropriate length, it's, it's uh, you know, I'd recommend to, to the knees, if not a bit longer, but anyway, yeah. um, it's got to be uh, appropriate. But for a, for a man, uh, absolutely. I mean, there's, again, it's, it's great for men because there's, there's a few simple dress codes, you know, there's, there's a few options. It's not so much of a, a minefield for ladies. It's, it's difficult because there's a lot more to choose from. But again, for me, you know, men in, in shorts, sometimes it just doesn't look right. And you go to certain things and you'll see people kind of relatively smartly dressed or, or in some summer wear or a pair of smart jeans and a nice kind of shirt. And then somebody will turn up with their flip flops and their shorts and you think, OK, they've obviously got lost. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll show them which way to leave again. Uh, right, uh, say, Excuse me, sir, this is not for the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> Off yeah, you go with your flip flops. Absolutely. You know, you can. You <laughs> And you get the kind of eyebrows getting raised. And, again, luckily as a butler, I've never been asked to escort somebody back off the premises. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure, I'm sure it happens. But then again, it's up to, if you have the party and you, you set a dress code and you have a couple of friends turn up in shorts, it's entirely up to you whether you say to them, look, this really isn't appropriate, or whether you, you, know, you, you just let them leave them as they are. But then it's a bit embarrassing for them because I know I've gone to a, a few uh, of events and... Uh, you, you turn up, and I sometimes will be more overdressed than underdressed if mm. I'm not sure. And you get to the event, and people are maybe a bit more relaxed, and I turn up, not quite in white tie, yeah. but not too too far off. And you you kind of think, oh well, at least I can dress down a bit. Where if it's the other way around, it's a bit difficult. Unless you must have been where because he once did a scene where he managed to put a black tie together from from nowhere. <laughs> That's very true. He did. I, I, I suppose it, you're right. It is easier to dress down yeah. uh, when you're dressed up rather than to dress up when you're dressed down. Absolutely. Uh, what about? I mean, one has an image of. Um, Prince Philip walking around in a pair of Empire Builder shorts, you know, the, the, uh, the ones my grandfather wore, uh, which were, uh, you could get three or four, you know, a, a, an army in them, um, <laughs> a small battalion. Uh, have you, uh, do, the, do the royal family, you know, relax? I mean, again, because of confidentiality, I've got to be a bit careful what yes, I say. Of course. I mean, like most people, like all of us, when you have your, your time that you're at home, you, you kind of, you, you dress down. Uh, not to say that people wear onesies, but <laughs> they might wear something appropriate. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen any of my employees <laughs> in a onesie, I'm safe to say. Uh, still because, time, Grant, still time. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you never know, that's true. But, um, in fact, someone even suggested to me wearing one recently, and I, I think I turned down the offer. Um, Why Again, it? it depends what, in your own home, who's around, what you, what you feel comfortable with. And if you feel happy wearing shorts and there's nobody around or that's how... And again, it depends on cultures. I've got friends from overseas and because it's so hot overseas, you know, that, that's what they wear a lot of the time is they've got smart shots and casual shots and all sorts I, of shots. It's interesting you said because I know you now work uh, as an advisor to, to, uh, to a, a member of the European royalty. Um, yes. And they have a different way of handling it in Europe as we do here. Absolutely. Are we too staid? I'm minded of everything that you said, garden parties, royal mm -hmm. families, formal events... Are we are we too staid, or do you actually see a loosening of dress codes that we're not talking shirts, ties, jackets, polished shoes? I think the younger generation. I think I've tried to include myself in that a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay. The younger generation, or the generation coming up now, it is different. The way that our grandparents and great grandparents, and even our parents, dressed and behaved, it, it's changed, times are changing, and. I think there's nothing wrong with keeping the traditions, just remembering that, you know, because I've got young friends who, in their early 20s, and I remember a couple of months ago, he suddenly phoned up and said, I want to have a black tie dinner. How do I go, how do I go around, how do I go about organising this and what should we wear? Which I was really pleased about. And mm -hmm. this, these friends, they won't normally do something like that, but at least they know how to do it. So in years to come, 
if they then want to do it again, it's not lost, if that makes sense. Which makes perfect sense. Grant, always a pleasure talking with you. Thank, Thank you very much for having me back on, John. No, and always a pleasure. Thank you very you much. Have you shots on today? Not yet, no. <laughs> uh, Grant, speak to you soon. Take care. Uh, Grant there, the former Royal Butler, um, a good friend of the programme. I'm going to speak to Ted in Whitehall. I want to speak to you this morning.